Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shegun Baji. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're considering the importance of growing in spiritual stamina. Spiritual stamina. It is important that you grow in strength on a daily basis because that's God's plan for you. The Bible tells us in Psalm 84 and verse 7, it says they go from strength to strength. Everyone in Zion appeared before the Lord. They go from strength to strength. Note, it does not say they go from weakness to strength. It didn't say they go from strength to weakness. It says they go from strength to strength. Why? For the path of the just is as a shining light. It shines more and more, even unto the perfect day. God wants you to go from strength to strength. He wants you to increase in spiritual stamina. You see, the reason people lose the victories that God has given them is because they don't build on it. You have to build on the victories that God has given you. If you have attained to a level of spirituality, a level of um, strength on the inside, a level of maturity in the things of God, you have to learn to build on it so you don't decline. See, it is important to build on it. The Bible says in Jude verse 20, it has only one chapter. It says, but you, beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith. How? Praying in the Holy Ghost. You see, when God brings you to a new level of victory, a new level of increase, a new level of prosperity, a new level of light in your work with God, learn to build on it. Take time to pray and build on it. That's not a time to reduce you know, cut down on your prayer life. No, that's the time to intensify and build on it. You know, it's like building a house. You put one brick upon another. It's not like you want to put another brick, you know, on the one underneath and then you remove the one underneath and then that is plus one minus one, which is zero. So it is important that you build on the victories that God has given you. You must increase in spiritual stamina as a Christian because it takes spiritual strength to fulfill your dream, your goal in God for your life. It is very important that you grow in strength and it is available in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 12 and verse 11, there's a charge for every believer, every child of God there. It says, um, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Not slothful in business, always been a glow in spirit, serving the Lord. You see, this is how to be a glow, be filled with the Holy Spirit, praying in other tongues and ministering to the Lord, meditating on the Word of God. All right? Don't say, well, now that I have got into this level of success, now I have to um, cut down on a couple of things that I do. I mustn't, you know, give so much attention to prayer anymore because I've prayed in the past. And the prayers that I've prayed in the past are working for me. So I have to, you know, take it easy now. Beloved, Success needs more prayer than failure <laughs> because, you see, it takes the energy of God to sustain whatever it is that God has given you. Flesh can sustain it. So you have to give yourself to more prayer. Amen. Praying fervently. The Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. As you pray in other tongues, you build up strength on the inside of you. As you pray in tongues, you edify yourself. So it is important to grow in spiritual stamina by waiting upon the Lord. It says, they that wait upon the Lord, praying, meditating on the word of God, ministering to the Lord, and serving the Lord Christ. He says, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall you know, run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. And that's God's plan for you. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.